One of the many mysteries with this virus is why it affects people so differently. The popular DNA testing service 23andMe is trying to find out. Joining us this morning now, we have their CEO, Ann Wachitsky. Ann, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Of course. Let's dig into the numbers here. Last month, your company asked your 12 million customers to see if they've experienced COVID symptoms. And from that number, you had a half a million people who responded, 7,000 of whom were COVID positive, and you've since studied their DNA. What have you found? We haven't found anything yet. We have a lot of interesting leads in, um, you know, some potential genetic ideas. But what we really need are more samples of individuals who have been COVID-19, which is why we're expanding the study today to say anyone, whether they're a a customer or not, um, we'll give them a kit if they've been hospitalized and they have COVID-19 so that they can join the 23andMe COVID-19 research study. So the main thing we need is more cases in order to find you know, whether or not somebody is genetically, you know, higher risk. Well, yes, because obviously 7,000 people isn't enough data. Uh, So if you need more people to draw more meaningful conclusions, I think there are a lot of people who may want to help, but they're concerned about privacy. How are you handling that? It's part of the standard consent that we have for people. People um, have the opportunity to decide if they want to participate. If they want to participate, then they can opt into research. In this particular case with COVID-19, because we're giving out tests, we want people to be part of the research. So if people are going to join, we need them to actually be part of research because obviously we're doing a COVID-19 study and, and we, need to, we need to be able to look at the, you know, their survey responses about what they said had happened, um, as well as we need to look at their DNA. But first and foremost with the company, we've always said that if we have, you know, no foundation of the company if we don't honor people's privacy. So privacy and choice has always been a top priority for the company. And then what are your researchers looking at? Is it specific genes, patterns, heritage, or is it, is it open-ended? And are you partnering with any other research teams? What we really want to find is kind of this, this mystery that, that all of us are seeing on a daily basis. You know, why is it that some people get this disease and, and they have it, you know, and it's so severe? And why is it that some people be, can be, um, you know, um, exposed to it and they never even get it? So we're looking for genetics about severity and susceptibility. And we're looking across your entire genome. There's a number of um, gene candidate ideas that people are, you know, they have a hypothesis about, but we're going to look across your entire genome and we're absolutely open to partnering with any academic medical center or any other group that's out there. We've talked to a number of groups and I think what's what's really great here is that I see every single major medical center sit coming together and saying, let's figure out how we can team up because it's in the best interest of all of us to find out are there genetics that make some people really, really sick with this and some people, you know, really susceptible. The more questions we can answer, the better, certainly. Ann Wachitsky, thank you for your time and keep us posted on your research. We definitely will. Thank you.